Welcome back everybody to this tutorial. Today I am going to actually show you how do you, uh, well everything is pretty much set up, you just need to do a few more things in VirtualBox uh, in order to figure this, in order to have a proper setup. But down below in the bottom right corner, you can, if you're using a desktop machine and not a laptop and if you don't have uh, if you don't have, if you didn't have wireless previously on your desktop machine, upon installing these drivers and plugging in this USB adapter, you will from this point on actually have wireless access on your physical machine as well. Uh, not on your physical machine, sorry, on your desktop machine, because a lot of desktop machines come without any wireless, as they are workstations. So this might be also a helpful bit of information to know. Anyway, uh, let's just go ahead and right click on our Kali machine, go into settings, click on USB, this will be disabled and you won't have anything selected here. So just go ahead and click on enable 2.0 EHCI controller. Uh, if you get, you will, if things are not configured properly with the extension pack, you will get an, how is it, uh, a triangle, a yellow triangle with an exclamation mark in the center next to your OK button down at the middle. So right on the left of the OK button you will get that triangle which means that you don't have the extension pack installed. Uh, you can, aside from going to the or to the VirtualBox site where they have these three versions here 4.2, 4.1, 4.0, you can also go to the or official Oracle site and download the VirtualBox extension pack from there where they actually have 4.3.26 which is very nice which is the latest one. So. Just go ahead to the head over to the official Oracle to the Oracle site and find the virtual box section there from where you can actually download the extension pack. Anyway, I'll just uh, minimize this. We have enabled the USB 2 support, and now let's go ahead and add our device. So here you have a listing of devices: um, key, headset, keyboard, some unknown device, something generic, and down below you have 11N USB. That is the one that I am going to add here click on OK. There we go. All you have to do from this point on is power your machine on and that's it. So it might take a while, it might take a while for it to boot. As this is my friend's computer, I haven't really installed Kali here, rather instead I'm using a live version. And as I have stated previously, I'm doing this on Windows 7, but you can do it on Windows 8, Vista, whatever, it's gonna work, no problems. I believe it's going to work on XP as well, but no guarantees for XP and Vista. As uh, those systems are quite old, and I don't know, you might have some problems with VirtualBox or something of a kind. But yeah, that's that's a top, that's a topic for another day. Anyway, uh, the boot process here is in route, and as I, yeah, well. I don't know. Live versions usually take a bit longer. I would have I would have uh, booted it up prior to this, but so you wouldn't have to wait through the process. However, I, then I couldn't actually show you how I configured VirtualBox to function with this because if you go ahead and right-click on Kali now and go into settings and go down to the USB, you can see that the enable USB controller and enable USB 2.0 are grayed out, and you can't actually tick anything there, which can be problematic. Although you can add new USB devices if you want, uh, even after the machine is actually turned on. So the boot process is on, is en route. Any moment now, come on. Please, I'm begging you. Today, sometime, perhaps, maybe not. Ah, uh, the beauty, the beauty of Windows machines. Anyway, the Kali has booted uh, almost. <laughs> there we go. So Kali is up and running now. If I just go ahead and click on the terminal as we did before, I'm just gonna go ahead and magnify it. Don't have the extension extensions here, so don't have the full screen, but if I just uh, do this, I believe this is sufficient for this uh, additional tutorial. You can actually see clearly what is going on. If I type in ifconfig, I believe that you can all read this text, no problems. If you can't, let me know. Uh, you see that I have WLAN zero adapter here. That is my wireless adapter. If I scroll upwards, I can see that I also have ETH zero, which is my wired network adapter, which is currently in the bridge mode with my Kali, with my Kali machine. If you guys go to devices, network, network settings, this is very important. 
uh, I need to say attach to bridge adapter as I have stated several times before but felt like I should just say it one more time no big deal there Proviscuous mode deny nope allow all Oops. allow all so bridge adapter select your adapter allow all okay excellent uh, oh yeah one more thing I've noticed that a lot of people have been asking me about uh, about the MAC addresses of their virtual machines. So if you were using a live CD or something like that, you could generate your own MAC address with the MAC changer, as I have showed you before. But if you're using a virtual machine, you can just, uh, while the machine is powered off, you can generate a new random MAC address. It says here you can change it here without any problems. It functions a bit differently because this is a virtual machine, but you can just change the MAC address here randomly to your heart's content. Anyway, uh, as I said, you can see the VLAN 0, so let's just uh, perform a bit of a test here, a test run. Let's type in IV list, and then I'm going to save oops, VLAN 0, pipe to grep ESSID, and if I press up unknown command, oh yeah, of course, scan, and there you go. I can actually scan for all the wireless networks in my area and I can connect this machine to them, this virtual machine that is, to them without any problems. I believe that it should solve uh, any problems that any Windows user has had with wireless configuration with their virtual machine in regard to their virtual machines. And if you have any questions, if you have any problems or anything of a kind, feel free to talk to me in the discussion section. I will, as always, be more than happy and willing to help you out in any way I can. Until then, I would like to, uh, well, I would like to say that until next tutorial, but I don't know, you never know. I, pro I could add some new ones in the future, but for the time being, I just made this addition to help you out.